Welcome to the Voice Series, y'all. I'm Freak, your host. This is a great platform that I'm trying to bring to MN artists and anybody who really wants to come up, you know what I'm saying? Come in, they can showcase their talent, go deeper into their music. We can ask them questions about anything they want, and we'll just dig deep into the void. Another artist up the back, my rock solid brother, J.O. coming through with I Did. Stay tuned for a fire ass track. We're gonna catch y'all later. Yeah. Work is on its way, boy. Hey, it's me. I mean, you know that. I know I keep calling and texting. Yeah. I wish you'd answer my calls and texts. I've been a mess. I don't know if or when you'll ever call me back, but I'll keep trying. I guess I just wanted you to know that. I'm sorry. It's been some time since you relocated, elevated. I see you, oh baby. Uh, now I'm stuck, feel like a fool, baby. Wasn't my intention, just made a stupid decision. Would've changed if I had listened. Now it's you, girl, that I'm missing. For you, girl, I'll be willing. For you, girl, I'll do anything. Willing to just do anything to spark back how we're feeling. Now I'm reminiscing about how I was tripping, baby. I didn't mean to make it hurt. Uh, you didn't break my heart, baby. You didn't break my trust, baby Do it all for what, baby? Uh, I did You didn't break my heart, baby You didn't break my trust, baby Do it all for what, baby? I did, I did. Hey, hey, J.O. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming in the void, man. Man, for real, man. For real. Love is all love. Man, man. So, I'm going to start this one with, how would you describe your music? Describe my music? Yeah. Um, I would have to say it's a, a mixture of a lot of things. Depends on what I'm doing. If I'm singing, I would say I would describe it as a uh, angelic. Okay. <laughs> I like the word, man. Like angel word. that came down to kind of to kind of swoop, swoop my lyrics mm -hmm. and say, hold on, no, 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 you, you're not done writing that yet. You got you to gotta reach multiple people mm -hmm. at that mm -hmm. point. So I would say my music is a an outreach or outpour of my emotions so that other people can perceive it how they want to perceive it. And kind of feel what you're feeling, because I feel like you put a lot of feelings and emotions into a track. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of people try to relate in terms of like what they hear the other artists is saying. Yeah. Uh, and you know, every situation is different. So if, if someone hears, you know, a track that that I wrote, um, it could be like I did, like kind of what I just did. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it could you know, most people can perceive it very differently. Oh yeah, big facts. So, no, no. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I feel like that's the most beautiful thing about music is yeah. Like like even a, a song may hit somebody else a different way, yeah. but then it also could hit somebody else a different and that's way. That's the best section. part. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, yeah. the I think that's the best part because, um, you know, you can dive deep into how the, uh, another person feels. Thanks. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No. So, so with that, and I feel like I know this question already, but or, or no, no, the answer to this question already. But who got you into music? Because I know it was it was a pretty pretty young age for you too. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I grew up in a musical family. You mm -hmm. know, I grew up in the church, kind of similar to Brody. Uh, I think he was just in the church, but I was a preacher's kid. So right, right, right. getting up every Sunday morning to sing the old gospel hymns, you know, and all those things. Yeah, but, big facts. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been writing since I can remember though, because I had a speech impediment growing up, so I couldn't form a lot of words so and I, sentences I, and shit. Yeah. yeah so i wrote them down a lot and then it just kind of elevated from there because music just you know anywhere i go is music for me so that's right, man. Uh, that's right. yeah that's kind of what got me into just initially starting music but i would say the big the big thing that said hey i really want to do this it was 
the summer of 2020 when I realized that like music is just it's it's who I am. Music mm -hmm. music is me. It's powerful. Uh, it's powerful. powerful. And um, I just want to keep elevating in it. Honestly, um, not even just in terms of writing, but being a director, being um, uh, influential, uh, influence on. Wow, an influence on okay. different artists that are coming up, or even different um, um, creators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, no. And uh, also, I wanted to ask you what what keeps you pushing with music? Because I know you know you know I know you got a lot of things in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what what keeps you going with your music, bro? Uh, honestly, my family. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I consider everyone to be family. Oh, yeah, and so. uh, to be able to elevate and reach my goals helps me help another person reach their goal okay. so, and we all know money talk so uh, <laughs> at that lie. point Made if lie. you know if and when you know you get to the top of the top in terms of making money you know there could be a creator out there that doesn't know how to get to where they need to be and they just need that that, mm. that extra push and yeah. you know and usually it starts with family yeah. So, you know, when I feel like I'm down and out that I don't want to do this anymore, you know, it's it's just to look into, you know, my people, yeah. you, come on, come DJ on. Reels, Tandy, everybody that's, you know, has impacted my life and, and vice versa. Just keeps you driving, bro. Just keeps me keeps driving. driving well, I mean, I feel like I feel like you're on a good path, brother. You're on a good Love, path. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, it's yeah. it's been a journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, doubt. Been no quite doubt. A journey, no doubt. Though. Speaking of journey, you got any projects dropping soon? You know, I you know, I realized that I had to take a few steps back uh, in terms of projects. Um, I would say the next thing that is kind of coming up would be visuals and music videos uh, for the project that I already have out. Hit them up. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. Hit em no, up. <laughs> but for real, like I, I feel like I was like 10 steps ahead of myself. Like I was like, I got to plan three, four different projects. Uh, but then, like I said, I had to take a couple, couple little walks back and be right. like, no, I'm not right. done with how I want this project to be. Right. And right. the project that is out right now is called The Plan. Go run it up. Go run, run it up. up. Run it up. Mm -hmm. And The Plan is basically, it just talks about, you know, what, what do you do when your initial plan doesn't work? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. how do you, um, how do you work your way out of that? Right, right. You know, out of that, out of that dark hole out that of you, that dark hole. like probably internally dug yourself in. Exactly. You know, what I'm you know yeah, and yeah. it is all you because you know you can blame other people for what you do. Always. Uh, yeah. But you can only, but you can only take account of what you do. That's so, and right. my project, it, um, it surrounds itself around love and women because I love women. <laughs> How could you not? <laughs> and I, <laughs> you know and I yeah. mess, and I mess up in love. So I, yeah. I want to be able to portray that in the next coming projects that I have. Mm -hmm. and, and and I say with that, cause you know, you took your step back from music and stuff and you know, I've been with you that whole time and, and it's just, it's good not to, not to force certain things. Yeah. Like I feel like, I feel like, cause as soon as you start forcing shit, yeah. people are going to realize that and then you ain't going to go nowhere with nothing. Be people here are forced, you know what I mean? Fuck Especially it. when you trying to rush something uh -huh. and um, you trying to make it in terms of being perfect but you just need to make it be you. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then, That's a beautiful yeah. statement. <laughs> beautiful statement. I love that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. You yeah, do. You yeah. got to make it be you. You can't make yeah, yourself yeah. sound like... And that's what... You know, it's funny because that's what I ran into in terms of the group. Mm -hmm. You know, I would hear Tandy spit. I would hear you spit. Mm -hmm. I would hear everybody else spit. And then I would try to correlate your stuff with what I do. And then I find myself stuck in a hole because I'm trying to be... Who I'm not. Yeah, trying to be somebody else. Yep. See, and that's one thing that young artists should come to realize. Don't compare yourself to nobody. No. Compare yourself to yourself and you'll be able to build strong. Yeah, you, you, need, to, you yeah. need to know where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If you want to make it to the top, yeah, other people get you there. You know, it helps. It, it's good to know other people, but at the end of the day, you know, jail is jail. who I am. No one can ever be jail. Mm -hmm. You got to be you. Mm -hmm. All right, you. little motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. But nah, <laughs> thank you for coming to the void. No, man, man I appreciate real. you, man. Appreciate Thanks for having me. I love of this course. series, bro. Of course. It's, it's, it's good work, man. Hell yeah. We're going to keep pushing. And dive deep. Into the void. E-I-G. Yeah. Woo. Right there. <laughs> Real scary. 
I did. Oh, man, if you didn't feel that, I don't think you have feelings. Thank you for tuning in again. Once again, we're going to catch y'all next week. Chill. Chill. Okay, we're gonna hit that again. Are you crying? <clears throat> he making fun of you. Clowning <laughs> your ass. <laughs> Why you do that? Chill. Why you being hurtful? He clowning your ass. Chill. Being hurtful as hell. Hurtful. Bro, that's crazy. Out of pocket as fuck. Bro. Okay. His pocket turned inside out. He said out of pocket as fuck. That's crazy, bro. Was that?